One of the most decorated women athletes of all time, Blankers Cohn starred at the 1948 Olympics in London, winning gold in the 100m, 200m, 80m hurdles and 4x100m relay. During her career, she held an impressive 12 world records. But what makes her athletic achievement so much more significant is the adversity she had to overcome along the way. At the time of her prominence Blankers Cohn was a 30-year-old mother of two, two things that attracted derision. By brushing off criticism, the Dutch track star broke down gender barriers, becoming a trailblazer for every woman athlete who preceded her. On Thursday, on what would have been her 100th birthday, Google is honoring her with a doodle, imagining her racing along a track, smiling mid-stride. Here is the story of the athlete dubbed the Flying Housewife. Blankers Cone takes part in the 80 meters hurdles in the Olympic Women's Finals at Wembley Stadium. Image, Getty, Fanny Blankers Cone's early life in World War II born near Barn, the Netherlands. In 1918, Blankers Cone was the only daughter in a family with five sons. As a teenager she took to tennis, swimming, gymnastics, ice skating and fencing but picked running as her main sport after a swimming coach suggested that would be the best way to excel. It proved the right decision, as she had set a national record for the women's 800 meters by age 17, in just her third race. But as a precursor to what she would fight against later in her career, the Dutch Olympic Committee removed the distance from their program as they felt 800 meters was too far for women. At 18, she competed in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, placing fifth in the 4 by 100 meters and sixth in high jump. During the controversial games, she met American star Jesse Owens and received an autograph. Blankers Cone would have been 100 today, image, Getty, the signature became her most treasured possession, and after catching up with Owens later, having emulated her hero the ground-breaking pair had a poignant conversation. Blankers Cone remembered, when I met him again in Munich at the 1972 Olympics I said, I still have your autograph, I'm Fanny Blankers Cone, he said, you don't have to tell me who you are. I know everything about you. World War II broke out in 1939, which stunted the amount of Olympic medals she could have won, during which she married Jan Blankers, a former triple jumper. Blankers Cone is congratulated by her husband and coach Jan Blankers. Image, Getty Images Sport Classic with Jan, she had two children. After giving birth to Jan Jr. in 1941, she returned to training within two weeks and between 1942 and 1944 set six world records, all while undergoing rationing. In 1946, two years before her most famous achievements, Blankers Cone won a pair of gold at the European Championships in Oslo in the 80m hurdles and 4x100m relay How Blankers Cone Killed Motherhood Myths at 1948 Olympics Blankers Cone Storms to Victory Image, Getty, on a rainy summer day in 1948, onlookers at London's Wembley track saw an unexpected athlete make history. Blankers Cone, a 30-year-old mum of two outstrided her opponents in the women's 200 meters by 0.7 seconds, the highest margin in Olympics 200 meters history and a record that still stands today. After the 1940 and 1944 Olympics were cancelled, many thought Blankers Cone would never make another Olympics. When she declared her intentions to compete in the 1948 London Games, she received letters from many criticizing her for continuing to race despite being a mother and insisting she stay home. Blankers Cone shows off three of her medals from the 1948 Olympics, image, popper photo, British Athletics Chief Jack Crump said she was, too old to make the grade. But words couldn't break Blankers Cone's stride. She captured four golds during the 1948 London Games, winning the 100 meters, 80 meters hurdles, 200 meters, and 4 by 100 meters relay to become the first woman to win four medals in a single Olympics. All that while in the early stages of her third pregnancy, she single-handedly killed the chauvinist myths around motherhood and medals. Alongside her glittering medals, she was presented with a bicycle by the city of Amsterdam. Why was Blankers Cone known as the Flying Housewife? Blankers Cone is congratulated by 100m silver medalist Dorothy Manley, image, Getty, her quick feet didn't just set records. Blankers Cone's accomplishments flattened stereotypes of female athletes at the time, earning her the nickname The Flying Housewife. What happened in Blankers Cone's later career? Just two years after her glory in London, Blankers Cone traveled to Brussels for the European Championships and almost repeated her heroics. After claiming gold in the 100 meters, 200 meters and 80 meters hurdles, she only managed silver in the relay. 
Anchors Cone alongside women's 80 meters hurdle silver medalist Maureen Gardner, image, Hulton Archive Blankers Cone, now 34, traveled to the 1952 Olympics, which were held in Helsinki but despite qualifying for the hurdles final, pulled up after hitting two hurdles. She immediately walked out from the rest of the games before retiring from competitions three years later, her final title coming in the shot put an added her 58th Dutch crown. After hanging up her running spikes she moved back to Amsterdam, where a statue was erected. Blankers Cone comfortably wins her 100 meter semi-final in London, image, S. She once said of American sprint star Marion Jones, she trains twice a day. We only train twice a week. In 1999, the International Association of Athletics Federation awarded her the title of Female Athlete of the Century, to which she shockingly replied, You mean it is me who has won? During her later years, she suffered from Alzheimer's disease and became deaf before dying in a nursing home aged 85 in 2004. What is Blankers Cone's most famous quote? Blankers Cone crashes over a hurdle, image, PA archive, all I've done is run fast. I don't see why people should make much fuss about that.